as a soldier and messenger of the Lord of the cosmos, I say greetings. No matter how much you dislike the mentality or actions of one of your parents, they will remain your parents until death, like it or not. Well, so it is with God himself. He is our parent and he's given us all that is within him. Envy, love, hate, joy, sorrow, egocentricity, and so on. Here is an example of his ego. Holy Quran, Surah 2, verse 30. And when thy Lord said to the angels, I am going to place a ruler in the earth, they said, Wilt thou place in it such as make mischief in it, and shed blood? And we celebrate thy praise, and extol thy holiness. He said, Surely I know what you know not. Hmm. Yeah, God created humans bloodthirsty or murderous for his earth video game so that he could win bets with his angels. Everything in the cosmos was created for his amusement or pleasure. The surely I know when you know not in the verse is evidence of his ego. He knows all things so he test humans so that his angels will ponder the results. The real mind of God indeed. <laughs> Holy Quran, Surah 2, verse 31. And he taught Adam all the names, then presented them to the angels. He said, tell me the names of those if you are right. Verse 32, they said, Glory be to thee. We have no knowledge but that which thou hast taught us. Surely thou art the knowing, the wise. Verse 33, he said, O Adam, inform them of their names. So when he informed them of their names, he said, did I not say to you that I know what is unseen in the heavens and the earth? And I know what you manifest and what you hide. Mm -hmm. Again, Adam was told the names that God did not reveal to his angels. This is further evidence that God is the supreme game master of the cosmos. All in creation was made to glorify him or feed his ego if you like. However, he is the perfection of balance between ego and humility, rage and calmness, vengeance and forgiveness, and so on. Humans are purposely created emotionally imbalanced. Training to gain balance is mandatory. Most fail in this task, unfortunately. Hmm. Holy Quran, Surah 7, verse 11. And we indeed created you. Then we fashioned you. Then we said to the angels, make submission to Adam. So they submitted, except Iblis or Satan. He was not of those who submitted. Verse 12. He said, what hindered thee that thou didst not submit when I commanded thee? He said, I am better than he. Thou hast created me of fire, while him 
thou didst create of dust. Again, God is omniscient or all-knowing. So he knew that Satan and other angels would defy him. He created Satan and demons or former angels for his human gain. Ah, the evil in the mind of God made manifest indeed. Now, back to God's conversation with Lucifer. Verse 13, he, God, said, Then get forth from this state, for it is not for thee to behave proudly therein. Go forth, therefore, surely thou art of the abject ones. Verse 14, he, Satan, said, Respite me till the day when they, mortals, are raised. Verse 15. He, God, said, Thou art surely of the respited ones. Verse 16. He, Satan, said, As thou hast adjudged me to be erring, I will certainly lie in wait for them in thy straight path. Verse 17. Then I shall certainly come upon them from before them and from behind them, and from their right, and from their left. And thou wilt not find most of them thankful. Verse 18. He, God, said, Get out of it, despised, driven away. Whoever of them will follow thee, I will certainly fill hell with you all. Let me repeat that. I will certainly fill hell with you all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In closing, you now have been given the real mind of God. He is not solely benevolent. That is the juvenile delusion that most humans prefer to make themselves feel better. He's benevolent and malevolent and he does not unconditionally love you only those who submit to the laws or commands of his game outlined in scriptures he despises disobedience faith or belief is known by deeds not mouth further Satan vowed to come in God's straight path, which is as a rabbi, an imam, a priest, a pastor, and so on. So what would these pseudo-holy humans do, not what they say? Are they following God's laws to the letter or improvising to fit their personal agendas? Hmm. Lastly, God will fill hell with all 8 billion on earth. Humans are nothing more than pawns in his video game that he plays with Lucifer. He constantly destroys entire galaxies and replaces them with new ones. Human infants despise rules. So you hate religions. You love the freedom to do whatever you desire. We totally understand. However, all choices have consequences in life. You pay God's price for defying him after death. So follow his game rules or scriptures and he rewards you with heaven. Defy his game rules, and you will fry in hell forever and a day. It's that simple. Mashallah, it is the will of Allah.